and then just go ahead and step back and like that. Yeah. Pinch it. Give, give sure. it a good pinch. And they are like that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you'd yeah. be surprised. I know the music's yeah. gonna kind of. Uh, but uh, so anyway, so um, what Stephen was asking, and I'm basically doing this for him, is um, he wanted to know now that MLS is starting to show here in in the UK, what people are thinking of it, and what you think, um, how it's evolved since since uh, you were with the Rex. Well, I think the perception of Major League Soccer here in the United Kingdom has come an awful long way. Uh, it does get attention. Uh, people are well aware of the teams and some of the best known players in the various teams. Now, I go back to the very first year of MLS when I was the commentator for the New England Revolution. And I must say that it's a different league altogether in comparison with the one that I covered. Uh, everything is higher profile, the standard of play, has certainly improved obviously there are still improvements to be made but that's the same with any league but i think by and large mls is on a very good road a very stable road as well and uh, i've been following it from afar obviously not week in week out but uh, i do keep an eye on it a weather eye and i'm always interested in american players and how they do when they come to europe for example we have perry kitchen here in scotland playing for hearts uh, club captain of hearts as well and he's a very good role model and a good ambassador for Major League Soccer. So uh, it has been a fascinating journey for MLS and I think the next few years promise to be just as fascinating. Anything else you want to add? Not really, I think that's it. Unless you want to ask, and, 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 I mean, I can talk about my own announcement this week if you want, but yes. uh, yeah. Well, I'd love to. I'd see yeah. if you were okay with that. So no, I'm quite happy to. Tell us what you're up to now. Well, on a personal level, I made quite a big announcement this week on Thursday. I'm going to be leaving BT Sports and the UK in the summer to return to the USA. I'm going home, really, because uh, we've always had our home in Massachusetts, my wife and I, and it was always the agreement that someday we would return, and that time is now. Uh, initially, uh, I, I'm not going to be um, going straight into any one project. Uh, I'm going to be working on a few different things, but I'm really excited to be back in the USA. Uh, I've learned so much here. Uh, I've loved the work I've done here. Tremendous colleagues who I'm going to be saying goodbye to, and that's the sad part. Uh, but the happy part is that we are going home and uh, sometimes it takes leaving for an extended period of time to, to realize that you do feel at home in a certain place. So Massachusetts, here we come. I could sing you the Bee Gees song from 1967 about that, but probably a good idea that I don't. That is awesome. I